A news item caught my attention. It was on the back pages of the news, and it is about malaria. The interesting thing is the University of Cape Town Science Department believes it's found a single dose cure for malaria. Now, it's in the back pages of the news, but it could potentially be tremendous news, amazing news, because malaria has been a terrible, terrible plague that has caused the death of millions. And so potentially, these South African scientists have found the cure. Uh, they say that this, this cure could save millions and millions of lives on the continent. In fact, they say it could even save those 24% of child deaths that occur in sub-Saharan Africa. So this is something big. Now this study has moved into the testing stage. It's going to go into clinical testing. Now, one of the things that was interesting about this article, not only the fact of how big this could be as far as saving lives, but one of the things that the South African Science and Technology Minister said about how they came to this discovery. Here's what he said. He said, this is a powerful demonstration of how much can be accomplished when open-minded researchers come together for the sake of the greater good of humanity. Imagine that. People coming together, people of probably different opinions, different backgrounds, and yet they come together for the common good. They found that cure, that potential cure for malaria. So as I began to think about that, shouldn't that apply in our lives in just about everything that we do? Shouldn't it apply in our families? Shouldn't it apply in the church of God? Ephesians chapter 4 verse 16 is the passage that came to my mind. Here's what it says. It says, the whole body should be joined and knit together by what every joint supplies, working by which every part does its share. You know, how did this cure for malaria come about? Well, it came about because they worked together. They were unified in their purpose. They were unified in their goal, and it came about. And we can do the same. When we study our Bibles and we look to God and we come together as a family, are we going to have a stronger family? Are we going to be more knit together? I think there's no doubt about that. And in our congregations, in church, with our relationship with God, when we are focused on the cure, and ultimately the spiritual cure for sin is found in the relationship that we can have with God. And when we do that, here's what Ephesians tells us. It says, it causes growth of the body for the edifying of itself in love. So you want the cure? Turn to God, work together, and amazing, powerful things can be accomplished. That's BT Daily. We'll see you next time.